Hello guys, welcome back to Chinda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a rough fall cardigan with bell sleeves. It is really easy pattern and friendly for beginners. And for this cardigan, it can fit for size small and extra small. But I also showing you how to make the cardigan more bigger and longer, and also showing you how to take your own measurement. Okay, now let's get into the video. First thing first, we are going to make the bra cup. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 20. After you got 20 chains, for the measurement of this foundation chains, it is equal 3 inches length. It's measuring from my underarm until my nipple. As you can see in this video, for you guys that make bigger size, please add more chains until you got your measurement. And after you got your desired fit, next we are going to add 3 more chains. It is count as 1 stitch. And next, for row 1, skip 3 chains and make the bulk shade into the first chain. To make the bulk shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, and yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. Keep making the bulk shade into every chain until you have one last chain, then I will meet you back again. And after you have one last chain, then we are going to make increase by make 3 double crochet into the same loop. After you got 3 double crochet in the same loop, then chain 1 and add 3 more double crochet into the same loop after you have made 3 more double crochet into the same loop and now you must have 6 double crochet in total and with chain 1 space in the middle and next we are going to continue working the double crochet into this side of the row so we are going to work in the double crochet into the next double crochet stitch Keep making the bulk shade into every stitch until you reach the chain 3 stitch, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the chain 3 stitch, then make a double crochet into this chain 3 stitch. Like I said, for chain 3, we also count as a stitch. And 
this is what the first row looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch. Then turn your work. Skip one stitch that near chain 3 and make the bulk of shade into the next stitch. Keep making the bulk of shade into every stitch until you reach the stitch that need chain 1 space. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach chain 1 space, then we are going to make increase by make 2 the bulk of shade into the chain 1 space. After you have made 2 the bulk of shade, then chain 1 and make 2 more the bulk of shade into the chain 1 space. And now you must have 4 the bulk of shade into the same loop with chain 1 space in the middle. And next, Continue make the bulk of shade into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what the second row looks like. For the next next row, you just keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 8. Then I will meet you back again.
And this is what it looks like after you reach row 8. For the length of this bra cup, it is equal 6.5 inches. It's measuring from my underarm until it reach the middle part of my chest. For you guys that may bigger size, please add more rows until it reach the middle part of your chest. And after you got your desired fit, then we are going to continue my single crochet at the bottom edge of the bra cup. To begin chain 1 and make single crochet into the stitch near chain 1. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 2 loops. Then make single crochet into the next big loop. Keep making single crochet into each loop of the bow crochet stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what it looks like, you have to stretch it a little bit to give a nice and straight edge. And then you can chain one and cut off the yarn. As you can see, this is my first bra cup. We are going to repeat the same thing for both bra cup. And for the second cup, after you have made single crochet at the bottom edge. And next, we are going to make the back part of the top by continue at 78 chains. For the measurement of this foundation chain, it is equal 13 inches length. It's measuring from pit to pit. For you guys that make bigger size, please add more chains until you got your back part measurement. And after you got your desired fit. And next, make sure that your foundation chain doesn't twist. And we are going to continue attach this foundation chain into the other bra cup by make slip stitch into the first stitch at the corner of the bra cap. To make slip stitch, continue insert the hook into the loop of the bra cap. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops. And next, we are going to make the bow crochet. For row 1, continue make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. After you have made 2 slip stitch, then turn your work. And we are going to work in the bulk crochet into the back side of the foundation chains. Keep making the bow crochet into every chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again.
and after you reach the end of the row, then skip one stitch of the bra cap and make slip stitch into the next stitch. And this is what the first row of the back part of the top looks like. And next, for row 2, make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. After you have made 2 slip stitch, then turn your work and make the bulk shade into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. As you can see, for each row of the back part, it plays even with the front part which is the bra cup. After you reach the end of the row, then skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next stitch. As you can see for this side, it's also placed even with the front part. And for the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 until you reach the end of the bra cup. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the bra cup. For the back part, I have 16 rows. And then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And next, we are going to make the armhole and the armpit part by start measuring from where we make slip stitch. For my measurement, it is equal 1 inch. And then use stitch marker to mark at that 1 inch part For the number of the stitches from where we make slip stitch until the stitch that we mark I have 5 double crochet stitches And then for the other side, you just count 5 stitches from where you make slip stitch And use stitch marker to mark at the 5th stitch And then start measuring again from where we use stitch marker to mark Until you got 2 inches And then use stitch marker to mark at that 2 inches part for the number of the stitches from where we made slip stitch until the second stitch marker, I have 4 double crochet stitches and then you just count the same number to the other bra cap count 4 stitches from where we made slip stitch and use stitch marker to mark at the 4th stitch As you can see for the measurement between this both stitch marker, it is equal to inches It is my underarm space measurement for you guys that make bigger size, you can take your own underarm space measurement and measuring it on this top 
And this is what the bra cup and the back part of the top should look like when I fold it and place on top of each other like this. As you can see, this is my underarm space looks like. And next, we are going to continue make our back part. To begin, remove the stitch marker and attach the yarn into the stitch that you mark. Then for row 1, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch. Then continue make the bulk shade into every stitch until you reach the other stitch marker. Then we meet you back again. And after you reach the other stitch marker, then remove the stitch marker and make the buckle shade into that stitch. And this is what it looks like. And next, for row 2 until row 15, chain 3, turn your work. And skip one stitch then near chain 3 and continue make the buckle shade into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. So don't forget to make a double crochet into this chain 3 stitch. Keep repeating this until you reach row 15, then we we'll meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 15. For the measurement from row 1 until row 15, it is equal 5.5 inches length. It's measuring from my underarm until it reaches the top of my shoulder. For you guys that make bigger size, please add more rows until you reach the top of your shoulder. And after you got your desired fit, and next, we are going to make the front strap. To begin, measuring from the stitch where you mark until you got 2 inches and then use stitch marker to mark at that 2 inches part. So for the number of the stitches between this both stitch marker, I have 12 double crochet stitches, include the stitch that you mark and then you just count the same number to the other side by count 11 stitches from where you mark and use stitch marker to mark at the 12 stitch. And now you got the same number for both sides. As you can see, this is the right side of the stitch. Turn your work and we are going to working on the wrong side of the stitch. To begin, attach the yarn into the stitch that you mark. Then start from row 1 until row 15, you just chain 3 and make the buckle shade into each stitch until you reach the stitch marker. You just repeat the same thing like you did at the back part of the top, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 15. You must have the same number like the back part. And next, Turn your top wrong side out and we are going to connect this strap with the back part of the top. To begin, turn your top, then attach the yarn by insert the hook into the first loop of the back part. Then pull the yarn through the loop and chain one. And next, we are going to make single crochet both sides together by insert the hook into both sides loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops, and now you have two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through two loops. Please keep repeating this into every stitch until you reach the end of the strap. 
Then we meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the strap, then chain one and cut off the yarn. And this is what the wrong side of the stitch looks like when you flip it back. And this is what the right side of the stitch looks like. And this is what my armhole looks like. For my armhole measurement, it is equal to 10 inches length. And next, please repeat the same thing to the other side. And don't forget to turn your top right side out. And we are going to make single crochet around the edge of the top as the border. To begin, I'm start working from the right side of the bra cup. Then attach the yarn into the stitch in front of the chain one space. chain 1 and make single crochet into the stitch with chain 1 keep making single crochet into every stitch until you reach the corner part then I will meet you back again After you reach the corner, then we are going to make single crochet decrease by making single crochet 2 together. To make single crochet decrease, insert the hook into the corner loop, then yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 2 loops on your hook, then continue insert the hook into the next loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 3 loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Then continue make single crochet into every loop of the bow crochet stitch until you reach the other corner, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the corner again, then we are going to make decrease by making single crochet 2 together. After you have made decrease, then continue making single crochet into every stitch of the back part. Keep making single crochet until you reach the corner, then make the crease at the corner and continue making single crochet around until you reach the stitch near chain 1 space of the bar cap. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the other side of the bar cap. And then I'm going to switch the hook to 3.5mm hook and we are going to make the string. The purpose of switching the hook because I want the string more bigger. 
As you can see, you must reach the stitch that you chain one space and then continue at 90 chains. If you guys want your string more longer, you just add more chains. And next, we are going to make slip stitch. To begin, skip one chain and make slip stitch into the next chain. To make slip stitch, continue insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Keep repeating this into every chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to continue make single crochet into the next next stitch of the bow crochet stitch. Remember you have to skip chain one space and make single crochet into the bow crochet stitch. Keep making single crochet into every stitch until you reach the back part, then we meet you back again. After you reach the back part, then you just continue making single crochet into the space between each double crochet stitch until you reach the end of the row, which is the stitch that you chain one space of the other side bra cup. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the stitch that you chain one space, then we are going to continue at 90 chains. It is the same number like the first string. And after you got 90 chains, and then you just make slip stitch into every chain until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you have made slip stitch until the end of the row, and then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch which is where we have attached the yarn. After you have made slip stitch, then chain 1. And this is what the second string looks like. And next, we are going to make the upper ruffle edge. To begin, continue from where your last stitch is. As you can see the V shape here, we are going to work in the stitch into the front loop only of the stitch. So we are not going to insert the hook into both loops. For row 1, make single crochet front loop only into the next 3 stitches. After you got 3 single crochet, then we are going to make half double crochet front loop only into the next 3 stitches. To make half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the front loop. 
yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have 3 loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through all 3 loops keep repeating this into the next 2 stitches And after you got 3 half double crochet, then we are going to make the double crochet increase by make 2 double crochet into the same loop. After you have made 2 double crochet in the same loop, then make a double crochet into the next loop. Remember you working the stitch into the front loop only. After you have made a double crochet, then we are going to keep repeating this by make one stitch with increase and one stitch with a double crochet into every stitch around until you have six last stitches. Then we meet you back again. If you guys want your ruffle edge more ruffle and wavy, you can add more stitches into one loop. And this is what it looks like after you working the stitch into the front loop only. And after you have 6 last stitches, then we are going to make half the bokeh shade front loop only into the next 3 stitches. And after you got 3 half the bokeh shade, then make 3 single crochet front loop only. After you reach the end of the row and this is what it looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 1. Turn your work and make slip stitch into the stitch near chain 1. So start from row 2, we are going to work in the stitch into both loop. Then make 3 single crochet. After you got 3 single crochet, then make 3 half double crochet. And after you got 3 half the bokeh shade, then we are going to continue make the bokeh shade into every stitch around until you have 7 last stitches. Then I will meet you back again. And after you have 7 last stitches, then we are going to make 3 half the bokeh crochet. After you got 3 half the bokeh crochet, then make 3 single crochet. And after you got 3 single crochet, then make a slip stitch into the last stitch. And after
after you have made slip stitch and this is what it looks like and next for row 3 you just repeat the same thing like row 2 so I already made row 3 like I said you just repeat the same thing like row 2 if you guys want your raffle edge more longer you just keep add more rows by repeat row 2 and after you got 3 rows next we are going to make the V stitch to begin for row 4 turn your work skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next stitch then make 3 single crochet and then make 3 half double crochet And next, we are going to make V-stitch by making the bulk of shade into the next stitch. And then chain 2. After you got 2 chains, then make a double of shade into the same loop. And now you must have 2 double of shade in the same loop with chain 2. Next, skip 2 stitches and we are going to repeat the same thing by making the V-stitch into the 3rd stitch. Keep repeating this around until you have 6 last stitches, then I will meet you back again. And after you have 6 last stitches, then make 3 half double crochet Then make 2 single crochet And then make slip stitch into the last stitch Next, chain 1 and cut off the yarn And this is what my upper raffle edge looks like. Remember your upper raffle edge must be can flip at the right side of the top as you can see in this video. And next we are going to attach the yarn into the back loop of the stitch by start from the corner which is the stitch that near the string. Then chain 1 and make single crochet into every back loop of the stitch around until you have one last stitch, then I will meet you back again. And after you have one last stitch, then make slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now we are completely done the upper ruffle edge. And next, we are going to make the bottom ruffle edge. To begin, skip one stitch that near the string and attach the yarn into the next stitch. Then for row 1, chain 3 
and make a double crochet into the same loop with chain 3 and next make the double crochet and then may increase into the next stitch by make two double crochet into the same loop then we are going to keep repeating this by make one stitch with increase and one stitch with double crochet until you reach the end of the row then I will meet you back again And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. You must skip one last stitch that near the string. And next, for row 2 until row 7, chain 3, then turn your work and make the bulk crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 7. If you guys want your cardigan more longer, you just add more rows. And next, we are going to make the V-stitch like we did at the upper ruffle edge. For row 8, chain 3, turn your work. Skip 2 stitches and make V-stitch into the third stitch. Keep it in this until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. Then make a double crochet into the last stitch, which is the chain 3 stitch. And this is what it looks like. Next, for row 9, chain 3. Turn your work and make a double crochet into the same loop with chain 3. And next, skip this chain 2 space and make a V-stitch into this loop between both the double crochet stitch keep repeating this by skip chain 2 space and working the V-stitch into the big loop between both the double crochet stitch until you reach the end of the row then I will meet you back again After you reach the end of the row, then make a double crochet into the chain 3 stitch. Then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now we are done for the bottom ruffle edge and this is what it looks like. 
and for the next part we are going to make the sleeves so for making the sleeves I'm switch to 3.5 mm crochet hook to begin attach the yarn into the middle part of the underarm space then for row 1 chain 3 for chain 3 we don't count as a stitch then make the bulk crochet into the next loop which is the space between the bulk crochet stitch keep making the bulk crochet into each loop until you reach the corner then I will meet you back again And after you reach the corner, then we are going to continue make the bulk crochet into this big loop which is the bulk crochet row. So we are going to make 3 double crochet and then skip 1 stitch and make 3 double crochet Keep repeating this by make 3 double crochet, skip 1 stitch and make 3 double crochet until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. This is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Remember at the underarm space, you don't have to skip the stitch, you just make the bulk crochet into each space until you reach the end of the row. Then we are going to make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch to connect the row. After you have made slip stitch and this is what the first row looks like. Remember you have to count the number of the stitches of this first row because for the other sleeves you must have the same number of the stitches. Next for row 2 chain 3. Turn your work and we are going to make decrease by make the bulk crochet 2 stitches together. To make the bulk crochet decrease, yarn over. Insert a hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have 3 loops on your hook, then yarn over pull through 2 loops and now you have 2 loops on your hook, then yarn over and continue insert the hook into the next loop, yarn over pull through 2 loops and now you must have 2 double crochet with 3 loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this decreasing stitch. It is where we are going to make slip stitch at the end of the row. Then continue make the bulk shade into every stitch around until you have two last stitches. Then I will meet you back again. And after you have 2 last stitches, then we are going to make decrease again by make the bulk crochet 2 stitches together. And after you have made decrease, 
Then continue by slip stitch into the stitch that you mark. And for the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 6, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 6. For you guys that make bigger size, you can keep decreasing until you reach your arm circumference. For my arm circumference, it is equal 9 inches. The purpose of making decrease at the underarm because we want the slim fit sleeves. And after you got your desired fit, next, for row 7 until row 31, chain 3, turn your work, and make the bulk shade into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. So start from row 7, you just make no more the bulk shade, no decrease, until you reach row 31, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 31. For the measurement from row 1 until row 31, it is equal 12.5 inches length. It's measuring from the top of my shoulder until below my elbow. For you guys that make bigger size, you can add more rows until it reaches below your elbow. And next, we are going to make the bell sleeves. To begin for row 32, chain 3. Turn your work and make the bokeh shade into the next 10 stitches. After you got 10 double crochet, then may increase by make 2 double crochet into the same loop. After you have made increase, then we are going to keep repeating this by make 10 double crochet and then increase, 10 double crochet and increase, repeat around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch.
Next, for row 33 and row 34, chain 3, turn your work. Then make the bow crochet into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. And after you have made 2 rows of no more the bow crochet stitch, no increase. And next, for row 35, we are going to make increase again by chain 3, turn your work. And make the bow crochet into the next 15 stitches, then we meet you back again. And after you got 15 double crochet, then make increase. And next, we are going to keep repeating this by make 15 double crochet and then increase. Keep repeating around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. And for the next next row, you just keep repeating row 33, 34, and 35. It means that you have to make one row with increase and two row without increase. Keep repeating this until you reach row 50, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 50. If you guys want your sleeve more longer, you just add more rows. By keep increasing until you got your desired fit, make sure that you end with an increasing row. And next, we are going to make the V stitch around the edge of the sleeves. To begin for row 51, chain 3, turn your work. Skip 2 stitches and make a V stitch. Then keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then skip 2 stitches and make a double crochet into the stitch that near chain 3. Then chain 2 and make slip stitch into the bulk of shade stitch. And this is what the first row of the V stitch looks like. Next, for row 52, chain 3, turn your work. Skip chain 2 space and make the V stitch into the big loop between the bulk of shade stitch. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then skip the chain 2 space and make the bulk of shade into the stitch that near chain 3. Then chain 2 and make slip stitch into the bulk of shade stitch. And this is what the second row looks like. Next, for row 53, please repeat row 52. Then I will meet you back again. And after you got 3 rows of the V stitch, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. For the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in. And now we are done for the first sleeves. Please repeat the same thing to the other sleeves. And now your rough four cardigan with bell sleeves is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.